Bobby, you know, he's a veteran. He's battle, battle tested. He's been around the, the game a long time. You just got a bigger appetite at this point than he does, that's all. I'd love to use my movement, use my angles, you know, take him down when I want. If all goes to goes plan, that's the way it'll be. If not, then we roll with the punches. Worst comes to worst, we slug it out. All I know is that you better come there prepared to fight, prepared to bleed, because I most certainly am. Just a war from start to finish. Let's stand, you know, knock him down, and get on and hit him some more. I'm going to sleep, come straight to him, and straight through him. See you June 16th. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our main event of the evening as Vicious Bobby Volker takes on Justin Demone. Our title MMA keys to victory, Dustin Demone. He has not fought in quite some time and he's got to shake off that cage rust. He also needs to avoid the damage of the heavy hands of Bobby Volker, but he needs to keep the pressure and keep Bobby Volker on his heels. Volker, he needs to be first. He's got to control the pace. He also has an immense amount of cage knowledge for all of the time that he has spent in there. He has to show it over Demone. Everybody on your feet. This is our main event of the evening. Anybody wants to see a knockout tonight, let me hear a KO. Let's bring it out to Justin Demone. Making his return to the cage tonight, it is Strike Force veteran Justin Demone. He has fought the likes of UFC veteran Adam Sella. He's fought the likes of Shamrock FC president Jesse Finney. He sports a 17 and five record in the world of mixed martial arts. Now, he said that he lost his drive to fight. He said that he needed to step completely away. He stepped away from training. He never watched it on television. He didn't wear the clothing. He said to me though that now the fire has been reignited. You know, Jeremy, I've had that happen to myself, right? I fought so long, I lost the urge to fight and I came back wanting to fight and I was a tough, different fighter. And Damone looks to be in the best shape I have ever seen him tonight. So I think this is gonna be a tough fight for Robbie Volker. Justin Damone, as I said, has to avoid the damage. The other big one here, again, is going to be, is there going to be cage rust? With taking the time off, how long have you been in the gym to get ready? We're gonna see how that plays out right now. Let's bring out his opponent tonight, the pride of Kansas City, Bobby Volker. This capacity sold out crowd is on their feet for vicious Bobby Volker. The four time strike force and four time UFC vet is coming off a big win over Bobby Emmons in his last outing and is trying to put a streak together again. As we go to our supplement superstores, tail of the tape, Bobby Volker, 39 years old, six foot tall, 169.8 pounds. Justin Demone, 32 years old, six foot tall, 167.6 pounds. Bobby told me that this was the easiest weight cut he has had in years. When I talked to him last Wednesday, he was already at 175 pounds. Kevin, what does that tell you? It tells me he's in great shape and his diet was on point. Volker sporting a record of 29 wins and 13 losses. 
a storied career. He has went to war with the likes of Patrick Cote, with the likes of Robbie Lawler. And now it's time to see how he handles this one right here in Kansas City. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our main event of the evening tonight. Fighting out of the blue corner, he stands six feet tall. He weighs in at 167.6 pounds. Give it up for Justin Demoni. His opponent tonight, fighting from across the cage out of the red corner this evening. He stands six feet tall. He weighs in at 169 Point eight pounds of twisted steel and sex appeal. The pride of Kansas City, vicious Bobby Balker. Referee Mike Anglin has the call for our main event this evening. This fight is three five minute rounds in the Shamrock FC welterweight division. Justin Demone in the blue tape, Bobby Volker in the red. Oh, all right, Kevin, here it is time and here we go. Both fighters look to be in fantastic shape for this fight. There was a lot of trash talk out of Demone who just eats a giant leg kick out of Volker. Going up high is Volker, a lot of head movement. Very calm and relaxed out of Demone. It's been said that Volker fights down to his opponent's level sometimes. We'll see how that works out because he's coming very forward, which is something he hasn't done in his last couple outings. Yeah, Bobby told me he's been working on his movement and side to side movement, which he's doing, but he also needs to do that while moving forward. Big leg kick out of Volker. That one hurt, that made Demone switched stances for a moment, again chopping that leg. Front kick out of Volker. Demone's just kind of looking him down here. Yeah, Demone's just waiting. Big Volker. right there from Demone. Volker hasn't let it, landed anything very powerful on Demone. Couple leg kicks, not a huge deal. Going up high is Volker. Demone just kind of waiting for his time, it seems here, just biting, switching stances a little bit, throws the jab. Demone's looking to throw a check hook to counter Bobby's jab. Big inside leg kick coming from Volker. Nice one three combo there out of Demone. Big left hook from Volker misses. If that connects though, it's gonna be a tough night for Demone. Volker needs to tighten up that hook a little. It's real wide. Big head kick out of Volker. That chopping leg. A lot of movement still out of Volker here. Volker needs to be careful though when he's doing all that head movement not to move his head outside of his hands. Also, is Demone trying to time it? Oh, that one hurt. Volker even acknowledged that when he's kind of limping on that front leg. Demone again goes back at it. Volker still needs to keep those hands up. Again, he's, he's moving the head a lot, but he's moving them away from his hands. Big shot there landed by Demone. Again, just out of range of that left hook. Jump 
Inside leg kick again there on that knee of Volker. Big kick kind of spends the money, who takes a big deep breath and checks the clock. You know, Demone is carrying a lot more muscle than he used to. Could that be a factor in his cardio? Well, and he hasn't been in the cage in several years, so big left hook. Just I heard that misses. left hook, yeah. I mean, going for it, you heard the swing. Oh, again, huge one there. That is injured Volker's leg. Demone trying to trying to capitalize. Bobby eats one. Volker needs to look for a takedown. Yeah, he's got to throw knee. if he's hurt. Again, that knee drops on him and gave out. Demone starting to pick him apart in the corner. 15 seconds. Bobby's a veteran though, he's gonna survive. Absolutely, down to 15 seconds. Throws the knee anyway. Demone takes a huge deep breath. Volker looking to swarm to try to finish. Demone looks hurt there. Volker throwing hands. Demone looks tired at the end of that round. Volker needs to put pressure on Demoni. At distance, his front leg is at, is at risk. Volker needs to put pressure. Demoni is very tired. Volker needs to put pressure and throw some hands on Demoni. As we look at our instant replay here, that knee shot though has, has buckled Volker. What is gonna happen here with that? Do you immediately go and attack it, even though Volker's landing the hands after the shot? If I'm in Demoni's corner, yeah, I'm, I'm loading up. I'm going left-handed, loading up rear leg to the inside of Volker's leg. Kansas City on your feet, this is round number two. Bobby Volker though in his facial expressions is absolutely ready. Let's see how it comes out, big kick there coming out of Volker. Can Demone capitalize on that knee injury? Demone breathing heavy. Again, right into the knee is Demone. As you said, Kevin, that's got to be what his corner told him to capitalize on it. Pressure to the king. Big shot to the body is Volker. If Volker, you know, it's, it's against normal rules of MMA, but if Volker switches his stance a little to a little more of a boxing stance, where his knee is pointed inside more, it'll be easier to check that inside leg kick. Because he's eating those inside leg kicks now. Looks like he hurt Demoni with a leg kick. Demoni again chopping at that leg, but Demoni takes a big deep breath. Pushing forward is Volker. He's got Demone on his horse. Demone taking more deep breaths. Big right hand from Volker. Pushing forward here. Demone is tired, but he is still dangerous. He's still landing punches. Oh, that he drops him. him. Volker swarms. Demone's done. Demone He's tapping. taps to the strikes. A huge win for Vicious Bobby Volker, taking out strike for his veteran, Justin Demone. Demone was getting tired. Volker caught him with a couple punches. Demone went down and did not want any part of the ground and pound from Volker. As we go to our Mattingly Lumber instant replay, again, we see the heavy hands of Volker here. Finds a home for that big uppercut left hook and sends Justin Demone right to the ground. 
after the swarm. Demone does not want any more of it. Taps due to strikes. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget Mara Sports Bar. We're going to be partying all night long. A huge win, adding another one in the column for Vicious Bobby Volker, moving to 30 wins in his career. Let's send this one up to the cage to Stephen Bayer to close it out. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's make this official. The referee stops this bout. One minute and 45 seconds of the second round. Your winner by tap bouts out of the red corner. Give it up for Vicious Bobby Volker. A huge win for Bobby Volker here, moving, as I said, to over 30 wins in his career. Kevin, we have seen an incredible night of fights tonight. Great night of fights. We had submissions, we had knockouts, and we had a great fight for our main event. What a night here in Kansas City again. Jeremy Johnson along with my partner, Kevin Angle, and we'll see you next time right here at Shamrock Fighting Championships.